Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, rather than looking at an app specifically, I'm going to be looking at a website about apps. And you might also be aware that from time to time apps go on sale. But how do you know if an app is on sale other than just going onto the App Store every day just to check to see if it's the same price as it was yesterday? App Slice is like a web browser portal into the App Store and it shows you every app that's on the App Store and it shows what the current price is it gives you information about price fluctuations and allows you to set up alerts so that as and when an app that you're interested in comes on sale it will email you not only that you can also set up alerts for it to email you when the in-app in purchase the iaps go on sale so let's fire up safari and have a look at app sliced we're going to navigate to appsliced.co and it brings up this website, which is a very colourful front page of what you're going to find within the website itself. And it's also important to log in and create an account, which is free, uh, because this is the only way it's going. the website is going to be able to email you when something is on sale. So I'm, I already have an account, so I'll click the login. You can do it with your Apple account. I've done it with email. And we're into the home screen. Now, just working around the screen, we've got a whole list of filters just along the top. So we've got price drops, so that will just give you any price drops. There's a search option, which allows you to search for apps. And that comes up in the, in the top right. There's recommendations, there's newest, there's rankings, there's top alerts. Now, what I tend to do is to go on to the latest iOS app drops see here and we can start to adjust our filters accordingly so you can have it on all iOS we've got the how we sort the information so you might want to put latest in order to deal with the the most recent on sale apps the threshold I would generally go all apps because I don't want to be working with somebody else's decision over what's popular rather than what's uh, what I want uh, we've got free and paid, and this is important because often we'll find apps which are free but have in-app purchases. Now, for my purposes, we're going to go into the categories, and I think I will go with music because that is what I do. Hit go. And so now what we've got is the latest iOS app price drops in the music category. And if we look at this top one, it's a bit, it seems like a bit of a plug for this channel anyway, in terms of piano software. But we've got, we can see that Pure Piano and Pure Upright are both currently listed in the sales. So if we look to the right hand side, we can see that Pure Piano would normally be $29.99 and it's now currently $14.99. And if we wanted to go and buy Pure Piano, we could then click on the download on the App Store. You click on that and it takes you to the App Store. If we actually click on the description itself, so we just click the words Pure Piano, it opens up the description. Now this description is taken from the App Store. I think it's pretty well um, just pulled straight through. But within this, it allows you to set a price alert. So if we wanted to be notified if it drops below a certain price, we can put that price in there hit set alert and it will then email you when that price alert is hit. One thing to be mindful of is knowing what the price variations of an app can be and, and also how often they tend to fluctuate. So if we scroll down the page all the way down here we can see on the right hand side recent price changes. So if we, we've done the search for Korg module and if we look onto the right hand side of this page, you'll see that next to the price or where it says free, there is an asterisk. And if there's an asterisk, that means that the app has IAPs. Let's click on Korg module, which as I say, it's listed as free. So that's the top one here. We go in and at the top of the screen below the pictures, we have this track in-app purchase sales. If we tick this box, it says confirmed, you will now be emailed when the IAPs are on offer. And this just makes it a lot easier to be aware of when apps are on sale. Now, if we click on this drop down arrow next to bookmarks, we can get all of our information so we can see what alerts that we've got set up, edit which country and currency we use. 
So one final thing I want to look at on the main screen is creating a nice little shortcut so that you can click on it at a touch of a button. And it's quite simple. If you just go to the top of your web browser window and click the share button and we scroll down, we should have an option that says add to home screen. And if you click that, it will allow you to attach a link to the website on your home screen. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I'll put a link to the website in the description below. If you've got any questions, do ask in the comment section below and I'll endeavor to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribing, please do so. Hit that, be that button with the, the bell and the subscribe and all that malarkey and uh, it'll just notify you as and when I upload new videos. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.